Yes, the Ten Commandments. To be honest, I was in a really bad mood. You know, things weren't going well at work. Jesus was acting up every night. And I just lashed out, I suppose. I didn't really expect anyone to take them seriously, but apparently they were a real hit. Of course, by the time I had calmed down, everyone was living by them, and I didn't have the heart to tell people it didn't matter. I rarely punish anyone who breaks a commandment these days. Looking back, they are a bit silly. I mean, I don't even know what a graven image is. It just sounded good at the time. Man, ah oh, yes. You know, originally he was meant to be an action figure. No, really. I had a great idea for a line of dolls that worship you. I was going to flog them to the angels here so that they could play at being me. Each man would come complete with an original sin accessory. But things got out of hand, and before I knew it, whole civilizations had sprung up. Of course, by then everyone was too busy to have time to play with them. And since I don't actually pay anyone up here, the return would have been non-existent. One of the things that gets my goat these days is child discipline. You have to be firm with the little buggers. All this lovey-dovey liberal nonsense about naughty steps and the like. Ridiculous. Look at me, for example. My lad started playing up, always hanging about with those twelve hoodlums, healing people willy-nilly, vandalizing temples, turning water into alco pops and the like. I had him nailed to a cross for a few days, speared in the side, and then killed. And mark my words, he's grown up learning to respect his father, if nothing else. Forget the seven deadly sins. You know what really sticks in my craw? Turkey ham. Come on, who invented turkey ham? I slaved for years. I made you the pig. I made you the turkey. But oh no, that's not good enough. I didn't make tigs, or perkies, or giant toads with three knees. No, I made what I had to make, and that should bloody well be enough. I did receive a lot of criticism for kicking them both out of Eden, and condemning mankind to an existence of toil and suffering, followed by judgment. But these people, they've obviously never been on the receiving end of fruit theft. It's a very serious issue. Looking back, I kind of wish I hadn't thrown Adam out. He was a good kid. Glad to see the back of that bitch mind. Yeah, steal my apples, will you? Well, enjoy menstruation. Ha! Revelations was a bit of an annoyance. God knows how that memo got leaked, but believe you me, heads rolled on that day. Of course, it was too little too late. Everyone knows what's going to happen now. Unless, of course, I decide to change things. I was thinking of maybe having the seas drained dry by a giant anteater. Or maybe have the world turn cube-shaped and then smash it with a giant hammer. Who knows? Maybe I'll go with the Scooby-Doo ending that I had originally planned. The one where the devil was Jesus all along in disguise, and he was trying to scare me away to lower property value or some such. I don't like to criticize others, but I find that by letting people draw pictures of me and name things after me, it makes me more accessible to the public. I'm down with the people you see. I'm out there, keeping it real and so on. There's no need for all this cutting off extremities and declaring holy war every time somebody says something you don't like. And I don't care what people eat, although it's better for them if they avoid the saturated facts. I don't even mind gays and lesbians. Each their own, I say. Hey, I only made one of each sex to start with, so they really had no choice in the matter. Had I made a couple more Adams, it could have been a real sausage fest. And I wouldn't have minded that. It would have just meant creating the first public toilet a bit earlier than anticipated.